25 years ago, the National Recovery Month campaign kicked off under the program name Treatment Works as a celebration for individuals working in the field of addiction treatment and recovery. Since then, the campaign has expanded to include not only individuals and families in recovery, but also to raise public understanding and acceptance of behavioral health conditions. Recovery Month has grown tremendously to include participation by millions of people around the world, presidential proclamations, and award-winning products like recoverymonth.gov website, an annual toolkit, public service announcements, and the Road to Recovery TV and radio series. By raising awareness about the benefits of treatment and a life in recovery, Recovery Month has helped individuals, families, and communities across the country. Well, Recovery Month is so important to us for many reasons, but probably the first and most important reason is the number of people that are engaged in the process of talking about, sharing about and making recovery a real issue and helping not only the people who are involved in the various events uh, and the process, but also the general public aware of uh, recovery and the fact that people can in fact recover from mental health issues and from substance abuse issues. Recovery Month to me have been an experience where people who are in recovery themselves are so proud of what they've done and how recovery has changed their lives, that they've gone and made sure they've brought people in who are not in recovery yet, but who are seeking recovery so that they can see that it's possible. You know, and they've gone out of their way to be able to have events, to be able to talk to people, be able to get the community involved, the churches involved in many different ways. So can I get a big cheer for doing it one day at a time together? Some of the most amazing things for me um, as part of the events of Recovery Month and Recovery Month in general is that um, I truly saw a different side of life. I have met the most amazing people. Their strength and their energy, their compassion, their commitment has just been overwhelming. And I, when I go out and I speak about Recovery Month or SAMHSA initiatives, I tell people I've never been called to have that type of power or to have that type of strength or courage in my own life. And I'm in awe of everything that they've accomplished. We are here to celebrate you. We are here to celebrate recovery. Recovery Month events are tantamount to what Recovery Month is. It's a public face, it's a public voice, it's an opportunity for anyone to either get on a motorcycle and ride to promote recovery, to cross a bridge, which is symbolic for lots of things in recovery, and it's an opportunity to inform and educate from the ground level, through the media, to policymakers. As the Recovery Month campaign has reached out to more and more Americans, perceptions of addiction and recovery have changed leading to a reduction of discriminatory practices and offering increased hope to those dealing with addiction. Recovery Month promotes the awareness that we're dealing with an illness just like uh, other illnesses and that as uh, people who get treated, uh, people in a recovery uh, can be treated just like any other person. Who does recovery benefit? Everybody! Everybody! Who that, I think, reduces discrimination. Discrimination is fostered by mythologies, by distorted views of individuals, and by fear. And Recovery Month promotes uh, awareness, and promotes education, and I think in reducing fear, it reduces discrimination. Recovery Month also gives us an opportunity for the general public to understand a little bit more and become less fearful and afraid of an individual with an addiction or with uh, living with some type of a mental health disorder. That's very important because we have been trying to uh, reduce the discrimination that is out there right now around people who may self-disclose that they are living with a condition of either an addiction or uh, a mental health disorder. Recovery Month now is really a, a great avenue for the new recovery advocacy movement where people are no longer hiding both their addiction and their recovery, but are welcoming that and are really willing to share that with other people, bringing hope to uh, people who need help. 
and encourage them to seek it. Recovery Month spreads the positive message that behavioral health is essential to overall health, that prevention works, treatment is effective, and people can and do recover. Through our collaborative efforts, we are making great strides and looking forward to even more success in the future. For me, uh, Recovery Month uh, gives me strength and it uh, helps not just during the month of September when we celebrate, but throughout the year, it provides that fortification, that support of peers, families, friends, providers, whole community coming around and celebrating life, celebrating recovery. We got any people in recovery out there? Recovery Month, in my opinion, is a celebration of everyone in recovery. It's a universal celebration of accomplishment of what's transpired throughout the year. Recovery Month is an opportunity to demonstrate and to celebrate and say, look at all the wonderful things we're doing for recovery. I think that Recovery Month also provides a vehicle, not only for people in recovery, but those who love us and care for us, to really come together in meaningful ways to celebrate the uh, achievement that people in recovery have done in their lives. I really hope that uh, Recovery Month continues to be embraced by the community because these issues uh, of substance use and mental illness uh, will continue uh, in our society and what we're trying to do is mitigate the impact. And so one vehicle is Recovery Month to help communicate that the impact can be reduced. Recovery Month is the road to systems change, to people being respected, to people seeing they don't have to allow addiction and mental illness to take over their lives. Over the years, the Recovery Month campaign has been a driving force in the nationwide effort to help and support individuals in need of services. Instrumental to this effort are numerous individuals and groups, particularly the Recovery Month planning partners. We thank each and every one of you who has contributed in some way to the National Recovery Month campaign and we look forward to your continued support.